the first one that I'm doing with you. Uh, this uh, is CJ the Champ. He's known for his like most disrespectful like anime characters or like anime characters with like black Air Force energy and, and um, King Bradley's one of them. You and I we've watched Full Metal Alchemist all the way through, and we know the level of just absolute. Well, yeah, we watched Brotherhood in its entirety, and we know the absolute level of not giving a f a character Bradley is. He's the douchebag. Oh yes, very tough and a very durable and a very capable douchebag. Honestly, I'm just curious to see what all CJ is just going to bring up about King Bradley because there's a lot to go over. There is a whole hell of a lot to go over, and um, uh, this is one uh, King Bradley. Wrath of the Black Forces. So, um, yeah, this is Nick's first introduction to CJ's or CJ, uh, CJ the Champ, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll enjoy it. So, are you ready? Let's go. Uh, up on screen. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the ring. Hey, 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 hey! Um, yes. Hey, um, listen, kid. Uh, how do I explain this? Uh, your round table, you black air force, home, senate, whatever the hell it I'd love something. <laughs> Fucking one slur. It is, uh, yeah, that's not ready yet. Um, excuse me, I have a trial to do today. Well, uh, the thing is, we didn't expect you to come back that fast. Cause if we look at your track record back in 2022, it looked like you only uploaded like <laughs> once a month. Yeah, I mean, I was in college writing too bad. It's not ready. So what does that mean? <laughs> Simple kid, you're homeless. Uh, Dang. Damn. Been there, done that. This is some old bush. <laughs> well, I guess we're doing this one from the street then. <sighs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Read, nigga. Read. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A, deceiving an entire country. So in the beginning when you see Bradley, you look at him and you're like, oh, I mean, nothing seems that bad about him. I mean, look at him, he looks like a nice old caring man and a great leader for his country. But <laughs> little did we know. You know what I realized by the way? What's that? He looks a lot like Omni-Man. You know you're not wrong. Just with an eye patch. Yeah. Omni-Man has an eye patch. Smile behind this mask. There was a whole different dog in there. I mean, you could start to see the glimpses of it in the first episode. You had the freezing I was just talking about, y'all boys episode, don't know a damn sure. thing about this country, yeah, do you? That so-called king, the Fiera, whoever the hell you be following, that motherfucker is not who you think he is, I'll tell you that. And later <laughs> on, when this man <laughs> oh, yeah, his lip sync was perfect. <laughs> no, yeah, like, CJ's really good at that. I noticed that in the last ones we did. His lip syncs, whenever he does like shit like that, is on point. Leg running away, he finds Bradley in a dark alley. And Bradley looking at him like, Yeah, I'm about to Thomas and Martha Wayne your ass in this dark alley, boy. <laughs> and you can see the fear in this man's face. He is laughing hysterically because he knows his ass is about to die. So he starts running at him, and Bradley's just looking at him like, Chop <laughs> What you running at me for? We and Preston. <laughs> Bro, his face kills me, bro. The fact that, bro, watch this man just by unsheathing his sword is just crazy. Then after this, look at the 180 personality turn. Ah, the Elric brothers. Hey, how y'all doing? Are y'all okay? <laughs> Don't worry, the situation has been handled. I just gave him a little bit of Southern hospitality. Now run along, <laughs> y'all, so I can go tell this story to my son. <laughs> yeah, that so-called son of yours, that absolute f***ing abomination of a ch Oh, yeah. Salim Bradley. Whew. Yeah, that was one I didn't really expect. No, a lot of people didn't. Because here, here's the thing. I wanted to do everything I, I could to keep it a secret. I felt bad for his son and, uh, and his wife, like, you know, because I thought they were both getting, like, the uh, Omni-Man treatment. Didn't know his son was in on the bullshit. Yeah, because I remembered whenever there was the hint of, like, Salim Bradley, or uh, the hint of, like, Pride, the homunculus, uh... 
basically I, I did the whole thing where you you saw like the shadows and all that and it's just like and it was like and along came a spider and it's just like and it threw y'all off a little bit whenever I said that and I was just like I was like oh oh okay so we're we're, we're a little safe more safe on the reveal then the reveal happened and I was just like yes oh thank god <laughs> <clears throat> but uh anyways but well, ladies and gentlemen let's take a little look at this flashback of bradley not giving a damn so when ed was having his alchemist examination bro tried to pull a fast one to impress bradley and he's like yeah you know you should really rethink these examinations because <laughs> this would be an easy time to kill you my boy so bradley said wow not bad not bad at all kid but uh <laughs> watch your jet little nigga <laughs> hey, hey my boy i got high hopes for you though Oh, hell no. When this old bastard take out his sword? But no. What's even crazier? All right, before I even get into this segment, though, RIP my boy Hughes, you know, <laughs> he was a real nigga. And also, f that nigga Envy. All my homies hate Envy. I will personally go to his funeral and take a fat stinky dookie on. <laughs> Here lies a bitch named <laughs> Second worst character next to uh, what's his face, the doctor guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shao Tucker. Oh, Shao Tucker, you, you know, I, my favorite one uh, about commentary about Shao Tucker is, you know, all the characters and Full Metal Alchemist getting a redemption and being in heaven and all that. And then it's just like the the original manga creator is just like, nah, Shao Tucker's in hell. Sh Shao Tucker is in hell where he belongs. Oh, that I still like the one where the dude was asking people at a convention. It's like you get a million dollars, but you have to pick one anime character and fight them and win. Shao Tucker. And that one guy was like, Shao Tucker. I am beating the ever loving Christ out of Shao Tucker. And, <laughs> and, I, and, and I, I was like, that is the best and, answer. And here's and here's what I'm doing. I'm telling Edward and Al. I'm just being like, hey, go take uh, go take uh, the, uh, Alexander and uh, and his uh, daughter out for ice cream. We're gonna have a conversation, a long arduous conversation and uh yeah um i'm gonna make sure that he never harms a hair on uh, either one of their heads ever again i'm gonna remove his arms literally i'm going to disarm that son of a bitch because it's what he deserves and i'm also gonna beat him within an inch of his life because it's what he deserves but you see, they're having the funeral for Hughes, oh, right? Man. So they see this man Bradley shaking over here. So you gotta be thinking when you're first watching this, oh, I mean, he's just shaking because, you know, his comrade just died. No, this man is shaking in pure rage because Hughes' daughter is crying at her dad's funeral. Oh, my God. Bruh! Yeah. Crumb with you, cuh? Dog is like... <sighs> Bro, I've never yeah. seen a man get mad at somebody for crying at their family member's funeral. But we finally get to see how ruthless this man is when he goes to hunt down greed. So bro pulls up in the sewer and says, well, 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 what the hell do we have going on down here? Looks like a fuck fist of illegal activity in my country's suits. <laughs> now I'ma need to see some IDs. <laughs> IDs? Why should I have to comply? Because motherfucker, I am the law. And when I see illegal activity in my country and they do not comply with my law, then I will have to use force and open a can of whoop ass on your dumb ass. So this man Greed keep <laughs> on talking, but Bradley cuts off this man's hand and he's like, I told you, if you don't comply, I'll have to use force. Now bring your ass over here and stop resisting. This man Bradley started peeing off on bruh. So then he stabs this man in the neck and he's like, yeah. You like that, boy? I told you to stop resisting. So then Greed looks at Bradley's eye. He ends up realizing, Oh my God, this old ass nigga's right. Yeah, you know who I am now, don't you, boy? Now you see, Greed, do you want to know what you are? All you are is a lazy, lousy, greedy piece of gorilla shit. <laughs> now then. You absolute waste of oxygen. How many times do I have to kill you to make you stop resisting? So then later on, Alphonse <laughs> ends up seeing Greed walking like a dead man, and he just falls with a sword in his neck. 
And Bradley's like, and that makes 15. God damn, you're a tough cookie, aren't you, boy? This man has killed Greed 15 times. So then these other Chimera end up pulling up, and Bradley's looking at them like, what the hell are they doing? I hope they're not challenging me. Goddamn fodder criminal pieces of shit. I don't even know are. their goddamn name. So they start running at him, but Bradley just made light, mm. quick work of him. Bro, cut his big ass in the cheese cubes. So then Grease start talking again like, hmm, so looks like you made light work of my fodder friends. Well, I have you know they meant nothing to me, killing my possessions like that. Who do you think you are? Greed, you pathetic scum. I told you to stop resisting. So then Bradley starts blitzing him, beating the dog water out of this man. Then he's like, <laughs> now you stay put there, I'll be right back. So then he walks over to Al looks at him and says now alphonse what the hell are you doing down here dealing with these criminals it looks like you need some help something's jumbled up inside of you you got like a bad shawty sitting in there or something so al had the other girl martel sitting in his suit so she takes over his suit and starts choking bradley and dog's just looking at her like <laughs> well ain't you a stupid bitch so he smashed the sword and kills her uh, oh, this man is yeah. a demon so then some minutes later al ends up waking up and he starts crying because he couldn't save her so then bradley walks over and he's like now now boys before y'all go i got some questions for you number one what the hell were you doing down here with these criminals number two did you do any illegal activities with these criminals and number three did you trade any government classified material with these criminals because if you did then I'll execute your two SOBs right now. <laughs> nope, well, well, swear to God, we did not do anything. <laughs> well, aren't y'all some two good, nice little boys? All right, now y'all have a good day. Be careful going home now. <laughs> no, the personality swap is crazy. No, here's the thing. The reason why he's so lenient with them is because he's under father's orders to be lenient with them. That's the thing. If there were no orders to be nice to the Elric brothers... Probably would have killed them. Right oh, there. easily. Easily, because that's the thing. They could potentially interfere with the plan, but he's under father's orders to not do shit. So, again... It, okay, unnecessary for the end's plot. The sacrifice. Yeah, plot. exactly, yeah. So then after this, some time passes. He literally watches Lust die for us standing behind the corner like, hmm, should I go in there and help her? Or should I keep my cover? I mean, I... Nah... I was gonna say, watching Tra like like Travis Willingham torching his wife so bad that he literally had to leave the booth because that's how bad her screams were. That to me, that's woof, Jesus. That's how you know you're a good voice actor. That's how you know you are a good voice actor. Laura Bailey killed it. Actress or actress, yeah, true, true. But yeah, and Travis Willingham, he he loves his wife. But yeah. This right here, I was confused as why he didn't do it. I think it's because he realized that the situation was not to his advantage because Mustang was, like, Mustang was in, like, go Isn't mode. Mustang also a sacrifice? That, well, a potential or sacrifice. Was that later or something? Uh, Mustang's a potential sacrifice. I also just think he didn't much care for any of the other sins. Like, well, true. Well, no, he, he definitely didn't care for Greed, because Greed was, like, a Doesn't complete care for rebel. either, if I remember right. Well, yeah. So, I just think by proxy, he just doesn't really care about Lust all that much. Probably. And plus, like, why Mustang should I save her? Like, She's the one that's fucked up. Also, Mustang was a potential sacrifice, because they had a list, and the guaranteed list was Ed, Al, Izumi, and there were five points of the star... Uh, oh yeah, because it had to be people who had used Forbidden Alchemy, so yeah. it wasn't Mustang until later when he gave up his eyesight. Well, no, he was forced to give up his eyesight, because you see, basically the doctor gave him the choice of like, do you wish to save her? You can if you use alchemy. I can show you. And instead, like, they literally like forced his hands to touch the alchemic circle, and Ed basically went off about equivalent exchange, equivalent exchange. He didn't do this willingly. And then father basically like berated him, it's like stop being such a child. That's another person I think that he should make one about father, aka the the homunculus or the OG homunculus. 
I don't want to blow my cover down on my whole ass humunculus yet. I mean, her cooch is not even really all that. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. So then later on after this, they end up trying to go hunt down Scar. But Bradley's in this alley and he's like, Gluttony, come on and bring your fat ass out here. <laughs> yes. Are we going to be able to eat them as a snack? So then Long Fawn and Ling end up intervening. But then here come Bradley. Well, what the hell do we got here? Looks like some foreign invaders in my country. I'ma need to see your visas and your passports. But you know what, never mind, <laughs> Fuck that. I'll just Yay. report you in a body bag. So bro, yeah. Long Fawn, Jesus Christ! Nigga hit the dash from zero to a hundred. Then he's looking at Ling like, now, 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 where the hell you think you go? Now the only way you leave in my country is in a body bag. So he starts swinging and he used gluttony to hit him over to the other building. So then he goes over to him and starts saying, now listen here, I need you to stop resisting because I have some questions for you. Question number one, who the f are you? Number two, why are you here? And number three, weren't you in one of my goddamn jail cells like four episodes ago? Well, I mean, uh, your security is kind of ass, so I mean, I broke out kind of easily. Well, aren't you a cocky some bitch? Throwing flashbang. Ah, you bastard, break your ass back here. But then Bradley throws a sword at him, then he says, hmm, looks like your flashbang worked on my other eye, but this one, <laughs> well, you see, I got tack mask on this one. Now then, boy, I need you to stop resisting. So please comply, then you can die. But they ended up having a grenade, so they ended up escaping Bradley. And he's like, well, shucks, aren't they some clever bastards? So he keeps on tracking them down forever. And the only way they were able to escape him was for Lon Fawn to cut off her arm and strap it to a dog so it would throw the scent off of her Poor trap. Pepper. And he's just looking in disgust like, hmm, well, ain't this some shit? Little crafty bastards. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. All right, now, so look. Before we get into Exhibit C, which is probably some of the most unadulterated, insane shit you will ever see in your life, we have to get through Exhibit B, which is this man's origins and him literally committing Order 66. So this man, Bradley, was raised in a lab with a bunch of other little niggas for the sole purpose to become the Fuhrer. So they basically had these little niggas trapped up in the Red Room on some Black Widow sh training day and night with these creepy ass doctors. Look at Dog, bro Go just to. stabbed him and he over his shoulder like, oh yes, very nice. Don't worry, he's just a bitch nigga here to help you with your goals. But obviously the, the true purpose of all this- always a, uh evil character sign yeah either that or it's a character who's about to have like an epic moment like you know so the... if you notice glasses don't actually do that we have like really bright lights up here they don't actually even get like no, no, that's the most i can get them with like they're like oh, 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 oh. it's like it's like it's like oh, hmm. i see that you are a student of the game was for father to put a philosopher stone in somebody, make him the humunculus of wrath, and rule the entire country. So a bunch of people died during the process because they couldn't withstand his power. But Bradley survived getting shot up with this damn Captain America super soldier serum, and this man became Captain Amestris. Well, no, no, he just became wrath in the fury. So during the Ishvalan War, caused by this absolute crack baby, yeah, it was envy. This man Bradley issues Order 3066. Now you may be wondering, oh, what does that mean? Well, look at the last two numbers. This man executed Order 66. So he had state alchemists, including crazy ass bastards like Kimberly, this absolute psychopath, to basically exterminate the Ishbalan people. So after they were just completely slaughtered, their high priest ends up surrendering to Bradley. So he wants Bradley to kill him so he could stop slaughtering his people. But then this man Bradley said, well, ain't that some pathetic shit? Do you really think your single life is important as these other niggas? Now you listen here, buckaroo. I couldn't give a damn about you or your people. So do yourself a favor and fuck off. <sighs> fuck you. You shall be struck down by the hammer of God. <laughs> God? Hey, hey, y'all hearing this shit right now? <laughs> Talk about he gonna strike me now. Hey, why ain't he done it yet? Oh, oh, wait, exactly. Cause he's a bunch of baloney. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. That's right, I said it. Boy, Do what you no say of your rat bastard pussies. 
<laughs> this man Bradley has committed some absolute atrocities. They were literally killing these people to make philosopher stones. So now we go back to the present day. So the government starts moving forward with their plan. Bradley basically got this man Mustang under a hostage situation. Dude disbanded his entire company, then started telling him, you know, I really can't stand you damn humans. Y'all really do piss me off. Oh, and also that thick shawty Risa, she's my personal assistant now. So I can keep a close eye on her if you know what I mean, Mustang. Then later that day, he calls Ed and Al in there and starts saying, Now listen here, you two little uppity ass boys. Y'all little rambunctious fatherless and motherless children have been pissing me off since day one. That's why your mama dead and your daddy went to go get milk and never came back. <laughs> Why does he sound like more and more like Uncle Ruckus the more he goes? I think that's kind of the point. It's, a, it's like the only thing he ain't doing is calling Ed and Al darkies because they ain't darkies. <laughs> they they blunt they like oh you Aryan coconut motherfucker. <laughs> so y'all are perfect candidates for the sacrifice. No fuck this. How about I just quit? Now you see I can't allow you to do that, boy. <laughs> well, I just There's Winry. What's that shot do you like again? Uh, Winry. Yeah, yeah, her. I'll fucking kill that bitch. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Now that's what I thought. <laughs> now run along, boys. Oh, but Alphonse, just one sec. <laughs> My bad. I thought you was hiding somebody in there again. <laughs> You're dismissed. And now nah, what's crazy? <laughs> May was hiding in his suit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> So then one night, Greed and Link's body runs up on Bradley and commits home invasion because he's having PTSD when Bradley came and spun his whole block. So Bradley's like, wait, what the fuck are you doing, Greed? Running up on my goddamn property, boy, I will beat your ass. So Bradley started beating this man, throwing him around and everything. And he was about to kill him, but Greed used that army man hockey and he was like, nah, gee, this ain't it. Hey, hold on, where the hell you think you going? You just gonna spin my butt? I love the fact that he, 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 he was changed like, the audio right here when he jumps out. He, he has like, oh, hell no, where the hell do you think you go? This ain't it. Hey, hold on, where the hell you think you go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so good. That was funny. You just gonna spin my block and leave? Well, ain't you pussy. So then after this, Bradley Link wanted to run to a, a fade. training exercise. So he's on the way back coming on the Polar Express. But Roy's rebellion set him up and caught this man lacking. And they ended up blowing up the tracks, seemingly killing this man. <laughs> seemingly. Exhibit B. Exhibit C. All right. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's fair. Had it backwards. The sea was back. throwing up game signs now. Gonna get a shot. That's a legit one right there, but you can't see it because the screen's in the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit C, Wrath of the Black Forces. Yo. So the rebellion to stop father's plan looks like it was a success. The Fort Briggs men fully take over Central, <laughs> and it looks like they finally won. Oh, well, yo. Uh, until somebody About that. came back. Olivia, is that your fine ass on the end of this line? But anyways, let me get serious. Greetings, I'm back. And it looks like she has fallen out of control since I've been gone. As, as now, I, King motherfucking Bradley, will be personally taking control of this entire fucking operation. Because it looks like you all can't do jack shit without me, can you? I'm gone for one fucking day and they take over my goddamn house. Goddamn rebel scum, I'll show you. Ugh, where's he coming from? Everywhere. He's coming to the front door! Hang up the damn phone. As a, so like a fucking boss. King Bradley! Oh. Oh. Rebel criminals on my property, bag your ass up. Yes, sir. All this damage control, I hope these rebels have insurance. Cause they gon' need it. So this man Bradley is about to storm his own castle. Look at dog rolling up his sleeves. So then he's like, did these rebels still <laughs> really think I would just walk in the back door of my own goddamn house? I think I'll walk through the front. Thank you very much. So bro hit the dash, he is deflecting bullets. Oh hell nah. Dog <laughs> cut the pink shell in half. And look at the collateral damage. 
Oh. Bro, hit a triple collat on some dudes that was just fine today. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Collateral damage. Bro, hit a triple collat on some dudes that was just fine today on business. Oh, man, that's a terrible way to just go out. So the yeah. dude in the tank like, oh, hell no, nah, I ain't signed up for this. Hit hey, reverse. Bitch up. <laughs> just took out a tank and came out of that whole unscathed nah bro and he just walking in they are just terrified and the thing is these are not just regular soldiers he's a brig these are fort briggs men they was hyped up to be the rawest of the raw and they looking like some real bitches right now well i mean shoot i would be too if i just saw a man take out a tank so then this man buccaneer ran at him but bradley said we sit your dumb ass down and bro still walking no <laughs> then he got up then he washed him again no nah, bro this man bradley's one of the coldest men to ever do it bro bro just <laughs> nonchalantly washed a buccaneer dude was built up as a hard ass nigga too so then he looks at old dude and says now what's the issue your country's leader has returned so open the goddamn door lieutenant <laughs> i'm gonna fold could you say that again? I couldn't hear you over the sound of me shitting myself. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go in like a bitch. What's wrong, Lieutenant? You gonna piss your pants or something? But then I'm Green thinking about it. showing up for round three. So they start scrapping, and this man Bradley is playing no games, took off the eye patch, and just started going crazy. So then the other dude starts shooting him, but Dog activates Ultra Instinct. Washes the soldiers, then gives us Stiffy the Buccaneer. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Rephrase that one. Pause. Hold on, let me redo that. Uh, he, yeah, he yeah, yeah, you may want to. <laughs> stabbed him in the gut. So we're sore in his <laughs> gut. Oh my God, bro. Anyways, bro picks up some knives from a dead body, and bro's like, hmm, this ain't my weapon of choice, but it'll do. So then the old grandpa ninja ends up pulling up. Bradley's just looking at him like, what the hell this old man gonna do? He think he's gonna make a difference? <laughs> what an idiot. So he starts scrapping with both of them. So he catch the old man lacking and he said, hmm, looks like you're older than I am. But this is as old as you gonna get. <laughs> but then Grandpa Fu ends up getting up again and tries to blow himself up. But Bradley perfectly cut the fuses of the grenades. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. So yeah, but that man was done. But Buccaneer repaid the favor and stabbed him. So Green started running at Bradley, but Bradley was still opening the can of whoop ass on him. So they about to fall off the palace, but Longfawn saves Greed. And the soldier shot Bradley and he lost his grip and fell down into the water. So after this man caused complete chaos and killed Fu and basically Buccaneer, you gotta think, oh, he's dead. He must have just drowned to death. No. I love we both at the same time. I knew time. he was fucking coming back. No, he had back. to, dude. He had to. No. This man pulls up on Mustang and is still kicking. <laughs> Holy moly, this man's durability is out of this world. The dog's like, well, what's good, Mustang? <laughs> you know, Mustang, you humans really do piss me off. I, I can't stand it when I can't predict how you act. But anyways, bring your little stupid ass over here. So Bradley pins Mustang down, and he's like, well, time to make you a sacrifice. So he ends up making Rory go through equivalent exchange, and he basically ended up making the man blind because he lost his sight. So after this, Bradley's not doing so good. He's taking too much damage, and that brother is starting to bleed out. So he's like, well, come on, then. Who wants to dance with the Fuhrer? Who wants to kill me? Come on, step up. Don't be a bitch. So then Scar ends up stepping up. 
Captain Bradley's like, oh, yes, oh, yes. You see, Sky, I've been waiting for this day. Ever since your uppity ass came running up and making a ruckus in Central. Now, you ready to join your people, nigga? Now, come get this face. So, Scar punched me, Bradley, like, come on, you goddamn pussy. Swing! You can hit me harder than that now, can't you, pussy? So they start really, really scrapping. And this man Bradley is on the verge of death, but he looks like he's having the time of his life. It got to the point where this man Scar had to use alchemy. Man, see, this John is taboo and had to use it. Bradley's like, hmm, well, ain't you an interesting boy? So they continue to fight, and at this point, Bradley's just talking shit. Bro, saying, where's your god at, huh? Where was he at when I killed all your people? Answer me, nigga. Look at you using alchemy. Have you abandoned your god? So Bradley gets Scar down. And he's about to kill him, but before he does it, he says, And you think your god exists? That nigga ain't shit. But then an act of God happens. The shun signs and Scar hits Bradley. And he finally finishes that man. But he still grabs a piece of his sword and stabs him. Jesus Christ, bro. This man is a demon. Dog said, if I'm going out, then I'm going out with a bang. So while Bradley is on his last breath, he's like, <sighs> well, damn, I had a good life, I'll tell you that. So then Lon Fawn comes over and she says, did you even love anybody in your life? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, my wife had some really nice coochie, I'll tell you that. Oh, <laughs> hell no. And see, look, girl, girl, <laughs> you was asking all them questions. You ain't even going to get vengeance for your grandpa because I'm about to die. <laughs> so you can suck my dick from the other side <laughs> well i guess i'll just stay in my box till my <clears throat> haul is ready well there we go so yeah that's uh that's pretty accurate to king bradley leave it to cj man leave it to cj to to point out everything and it's pretty <clears throat> it's pretty funny yeah I told you, CJ, CJ's pretty funny. And he's got a litany of these, and if there's any that you complete. Uh, this one's from uh, B uh, Black Lagoon. Yeah, I still haven't finished that. Uh, Alucard, that's from Helsing Ultimate. I haven't watched that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's there's several. I can give you my anime list if you want. <laughs> I, I will probably do that, but... Yeah, so, uh, King Bradley, Wrath of the Black Forces. God. Man, what a freaking nightmare of a battle that would have been to fight against him. So, anywho, I guess uh, that's going to do it. So, everyone, I want to thank you all very much for tuning in. And until next time, signing off, I am Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care.